videos. Scratch that. I have not seen a lot of videos on how to run a grapple. There's a couple of them that show this and that, but nothing from the tower that shows the action. Don't mind the tools. I was tightening up a loose connection. First thing you're always going to do is you're always going to put down your down outriggers. That'll stabilize you. So for teaching purposes, your left hand is going to control your boom. Pull back is up. Forward is down. Maybe like a horse, when you're reining in a horse, pull them in, pull it out. Your left and right is your grapple, open and close. And then with your right hand is going to be your stick. I call it stick. And it's the complete opposite. Take it out is pull back. Push forward is to bring in. Your left and right on your right is your rotation. For my extend boom on this button on my right, out gives me extension and brings it in. Other grapples, there will be a center button for your foot that will extend. But in this one, as I said, out, in. Your swing is with your feet, left, right. So I figure I would take this opportunity, because as you see it's been raining, to kind of show how this works, and then we'll bring it in to something in action. Probably should have put something down there to pick up for you guys. But once you get moving, You want to reach out, you simultaneously pull back and push, and that'll give you reach. And when you want to come in closer, and with these hydraulic systems, they're so powerful, they're meant to run multiple operations at once. Meaning, we can come in here, want to bring it in, and grab at the same time. And if we want, we can even rotate and grab. Just like that. So, swing to the right. If we were going to get in, buy something these, pick something up on that track, we come in here. I would say one of the most important things to remember, there's many most important things. How about this? Watch for power lines, trees, and don't gouge the ground. Because we do storm work, and there's a lot of front yards, so you gotta learn how to skim. Right now my hydraulic system's cold, so it's not running as smooth. But I just wanted to give an overview on how the controls work. Swing to the 
right, bring it in, and then we do pick something up, bring it in, and then you dump. But if you gotta bring your stuff, you gotta set your brush in closer, then you gotta bring your boom in closer, your grapple closer. Everything gotta be closer, and then you would dump. But I would think, and then every grapple's different. In this one, you gotta rest it on your doghouse. That's what that compartment above your cab is called. Dog house. My boom isn't long enough to set it on there. Well, it is, but the problem is, is I pull every power line from here to the dump if I set it up there. So it's really important to stay below those walls. If you think this looks fun, it is. It's not like work at all. Well, it's definitely a challenge. There you go. And you'll, you'll learn to flip. Tomorrow we should be running. And now that we know the basics, once again, boom up, boom down, stick in, stick out, open, close, open, close, rotation, clockwise, counterclockwise, same control, just add button, we'll extend ya. I'll do some illustration tonight, and then key element to this game is leverage. The closer you are, the more you can pick up weight-wise. Always remember that. Leverage. The closer you are, the more leverage you have, and the more you can pick up. The system's starting to get warm now. Now everything's starting to smooth. Normally we have a trailer back here, but I thought it would be easier to show you with the full range. And there's the rock. And there goes the rock. Okay. So, until tomorrow, we'll put it up, lift boom up, bring it out, raises us higher, give it a little spin, bring it down to the box, a 
and let's them to get out there. And there you go. That's how you run a grapple. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below.